Hello everybody, uh, I just thought I'd show you this project as a bit of a before and after um, film, obviously this being the before, here we've got um, quite a family heirloom, it's in our family, it's a 16 bore side by side, William Powell, uh, ladies gun, um, or kids gun, Damascus barrels, I think it's two and a half inch chamber. This is all right. Box lock. But in need of a bit of a refurb, it's recently been off to the proof house to get nitro proofed. Um, and in the process to proof it, they had to, I think, correct me if I'm wrong on the technical term, braze the barrels. So it brazes these Damascus barrels effectively had to scrub them off. Um, don't ask me why, I think it's part of the thickness testing they had to do that. So these nice Damascus barrels need re rebrowned, not re-blued, rebrowned with Damascus Damascus barrels. I've seen the process on YouTube, people doing it. Um, looks quite interesting. Just, I mean, it's not something I'm going to attempt to do and get wrong myself, and I haven't got the equipment anyway. Um, and it needs a bit of a spruce up generally, a few dints and dings in what I think is the walnut stock. And while it's there, I'll hopefully get it re checkered as well. So yeah, that's the nitro proofing marks from its recent proofing. And that just had to in, involve the brazing off of the barrels. Be interesting to know what the process of nitro proofing one of these old guns is. Two and a half inch chamber. It's a lovely old gun, pure, pure quality action. It's like that car advert when people shut the door and it goes clunk and it sounds like an Audi. This action just sounds. So yeah, it's a beautiful gun. And I think I shot my first pigeon, pigeons and rabbits with it. It's only got about an eight, uh, 13 and a half inch stock. It's very short, obviously, because it's for, it's, it's a lady's gun. It was my great aunt's gun back in the day, and I believe it's about 130 years old. So uh, it's not. I'm not going to get the stock. I'm not going to ch um, change the physical appearance of the. It would be nice in a way to have a stock extension, permanent stock extension of about an, an inch. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to whack on a temporary whenever I need it. It would be nice to get it. Uh, all done up and then load some bismuth loads for it and do some inland duck shooting or something or pigeon shooting. I'm not going to take it down the marsh, a gun like this. Um, but piece of history and a lovely gun. Um, so yeah, that's that's the plan. So we're taking it off today as a... I'm taking it to my local gun shop and they know a very good gunsmith in Lancashire. It's going to go to him for the full chemical treatment. Um, and you can you can look at that if you if you if you're interested on YouTube, go to rebrowning Damascus barrels. Quite interesting really. So hopefully that will bring them back from that kind of silvery brazed uh, look that it had to have to get nitro proofed back to a, a lovely well, I, I, I guess I gotta get brown colour with the Damascus figure showing back through again. No, I don't know what they can do with this scope, uh, the stock maybe to resurface it. They can definitely rechecker the hand grip. It's just chopped up with grime and grease and oil over the years. So, so that's the before. Uh, I'll see you in a few weeks for the after.